Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Stata course on regression analysis and estimation methods. In this video, we will examine how to report estimation results. We can store the coefficient estimates from multiple regression models and show the results in a table. We can also export the table to programs and software like Microsoft Word and Latex. Let's open the course dataset bob.dta. Let me show you how to store regression results and generate a table to present the estimates. We first run a simple regression model with only one explanatory variable, schooling. After the regression, we use the command estimates store to save the results. We type estimates store OLS1. Then we run the second model with two more explanatory variables, age and married. And the third model, including female and race. We store the results with the names OLS2 and OLS3. We can get a list of stored estimates by typing estimates DIR. We can click on the name of the result to display the regression output. Now, let's use the estimates table command to create a table of the estimates of all three models. We type estimates table followed by the names of the three models OLS1, OLS2 and OLS3. We see a table of coefficient estimates. There are many options for the estimates table command. For example, we can use the SE option to show the standard errors of the estimates. The star option uses stars to indicate significance levels. The command STAP provides more professional tables of estimates. We can generate a customized table using STAP command and export the table to LaTeX. We can think of the command's name as the combination of estimates table. We type as tab followed by the model's names OLS1, OLS2 and OLS3. We can use options to customize the table. We use the option label to show the variable and value labels instead of the names. We use the M title option to include the model's name. The no base levels option deletes the base group in the table. Notice that the values inside the parentheses are the t-statistics by default. We can use the SE option to display the standard errors instead. We can specify the format of the coefficients and the standard errors. For example, they are shown in seven digits in total widths with three digits after the decimal point. We use the VAR with option to modify the length of the variables, names and labels that could be displayed. We use the KEEP 
option to choose which variables to be shown. And the title option adds a table title. Sometimes we want to change the significance star level. By default, three stars are for the p-value smaller than 0.1%. We can define one star for p-value smaller than 10%, two stars for p-values smaller than 5%, and three stars for p-values smaller than 1%. Finally, we can use the using command to let data export a TEX file that could be used in LaTeX. We specify the replace option to replace the existing file with the same name. We can copy the rest of the options from the previous command. Then, in LaTeX, we can input the TX file. The customized table of estimates has been exported to the LaTeX. Today, we have learned to use the estimates store and estimates table commands to save and show the estimation results. We can also use the stab command to customize the coefficient estimates in a table and export them to LaTeX. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you tomorrow on the next topic. Take care. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.